this video, I'll show you how to draw realistic eyes and how to avoid common mistakes. I think the most important thing in portrait drawing is to draw the eyes correctly. Even the most beautiful portrait can be ruined if the eyes are not right. Even if you are drawing from a reference photo, it doesn't hurt to be familiar with the anatomy of the eyes and face as much as necessary for drawing. It will be a great help. First, draw a circle. You can find some tips for it in my Loomis help video. So this circle will be the eyeball. Then decide the angle of the eye with a line through the circle. You don't have to draw the line through the center of the circle, but try to draw it close. Eyes can have many different shapes. They can be round or narrow, but the most important thing about drawing eyes is that they are never perfectly almond shaped. They have a complex shape and you can draw them with multiple lines. Draw the inner corner of the eye, but don't overthink it, just draw a shape like this. Then draw a line up, then across the circle or eyeball, and then down to the outer corner of the eye. The line of the bottom eyelid is more shallow. You can draw now the crease above the upper eyelid. It's not that hard, because it follows the shape of the lid. If you divide the eyeball into four equal parts, you can draw the iris in the two middle parts. This is usually the average size of the iris in relation to the eyeball. So, draw a circle, but keep in mind that it won't be completely visible. The iris is only fully visible when, for example, someone is very surprised or scared. Otherwise, the top is usually covered a bit by the upper eyelid. The size of the pupil depends on the amount of light that hits the eye or, for example, the emotions you're feeling or how busy your brain is. Draw a pupil the size that suits your character's situation. If you draw a pupil that's too narrow, the shape of the eye should match. On an average face, the distance between the eyes is about one eye. The first thing to notice in your photo is this. The next important thing is that the outer corners of the eyes are higher than the inner corners. To draw the second eye, you need to define the eye line. Essentially, you need to relate it to the angle of the face if you want to draw a full portrait.
The eyelashes grow at the edges of the top and bottom eyelids and they curl outwards and upwards. Actually, don't always curl upwards. The eyelashes don't grow in a perfect row. They can overlap each other, forming little groups that look like triangles, for example. It's very important to pay attention to the so-called negative space when drawing from a reference photo. This can be the critical point to avoid drawing squinting eyes. If you want to fix the shape of the iris, for example, you should pay attention to the shape of the white of the eye. Changing the viewpoint can be a huge help. The white of the eye isn't actually white at all. You can see that the tones vary. 
observing the reference photo and shading the eye will give it the three-dimensional feel.